right, welcome back to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today I have an unboxing from the always awesome, always lovely Jessie over at Dark Hour Dolls. Now, some of this is a commission I had her make for me and some of it I have no idea what's in there. So I'm really excited to get into it. That's one of the joys of like having friends in the hobby, especially crafter friends. They tend to send you surprises along with your stuff and you send them surprises along with their stuff and it's just a really good time. If you haven't gotten into like craft swapping, like a 10 out of 10 would recommend. I do know that some of this was commissioned um, like emo band t-shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Margo as well. Hi Margo. Um, ooh, Margo needs to chill on her knees a little bit and she can sit here with Daisy and support her own weight, hopefully. Daisy's like, please support your own weight. I know that there's a couple of wigs in here as well. Um, I did trade a wig that I found out that I had been uh, gifted. Uh, I was told was alpaca and I checked and it was alpaca. I traded it for a couple yarn wigs and uh, Jesse made them, so I'm very excited to get into this. Okay, so we have a box. Ooh, and I can now show you the box because it doesn't have my address on it. I do need scissors. So thanks Rosie, sorry I couldn't do the buns. Um, I lost something I need to do them. I hope you like them anyways. Oh, totally, uh, the buns were completely optional. I had asked if there were buns she could clip on, but that's not a big deal. I'm not bummed out by that at all. I'm just really excited to see. Okay. okay so let's take this package. I don't wanna spoil all the surprises. Let's adjust the camera. Let's start with the clothes. Oh, that goes in here. Let's hide that. <clears throat> okay, this is awesome. So the top one is this My Chemical Romance t-shirt. I actually have a very, very similar shirt. So I'm super excited uh, to kind of do some like matchy, matchy photos later on um, with my dolls. Uh, Jessie sews these shirts herself and she also uses like, um, like a vinyl the cricket moment uh, to get them on and they're really lovely and really well made so this one is super cute any of my Canadian uh, early like emo scene moments will remember these kids wear crowns they won some kind of Canadian music competition through MTV and um, they were real popular they played in my city for something called Summerfest and I was there in all of my scene kid glory and I had this t-shirt and I foolishly sent it off into the void, AKA the thrift store eons ago. And what a bummer because I would love to have this shirt back. I'm going through my elder emo phase right now, back into the black and all of that good stuff. But I would love to have this shirt back. I did see one on, um, it's called Poshmark one of those thrift apps, but it's for a hundred dollars and it's signed. I'm thinking about it, but like a hundred dollar t-shirt, eh, I don't know. But I'm, I really love this, it's super reminiscent. It's almost as neon as the original, but like definitely if I could get my hands on this shirt, like it would be incredible, I love this. Okay, so this one I also have uh, the exact same shirt. So this is Fall Out Boy. Um, I found this one off of Thread Up or whatever for myself, and so I sent Jesse the design. Oh, 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 we're losing things to make me one for my dolls because I thought it would be fun to be matchy. So I do have this one, and that is super awesome. Okay, now the rest of this is going to be surprises because I have no idea, but I did see these fell and they look like little wrist warmers. I absolutely would have worn something like this in like 2006. Like a hundred percent would have been wearing these. These are super cute. There we go. And then we have some green and black striped socks. Margo is so excited. Like she's ready for these stripes and the green and the red. She is 
So excited. I am so excited. These are adorable. Also, like, peek the colors. Okay, and then, oh, I'm so, yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got these, like, <clears throat> I've got these, like, black and uh, striped split leggings. Split pants were, like, such a vibe. Uh, split pants and checkered pants and, yeah, like, checkerboard, not plaid. And what else? Just bright colored skinny jeans. Like, that was the whole thing. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Oh my gosh. Like, and that will look so good with that shirt or that shirt. That might look a little ketchup and mustard, but like these two for sure. Gosh, that's so good. Okay, so I'm going to open the wigs now and check them out. So let's do that. So the first thing I saw was this little extension and Jesse makes these like tape in extensions out of yarn and uh, you can basically just kind of it's like a velcro and it just comes in and out of your doll's hair but it's like a little coon tail I don't know if you guys if you were an emo kid or a scene kid in the early mid 2000s but um, we all had these or we all bought extensions for them but it was just like putting stripes in your hair we also did leopard print uh, we did rainbow uh, like there's a lot of just like hair painting happening and this is amazing like I would here let me let me just show you but basically that's the vibe um, it would look better too if you had a long haired doll wearing this and it was able to peek out all of my dolls currently have fairly straight short ish hair um, but you know that would be Super duper cool. I love that. The other wigs I asked for, I think, for Noah, although she is rocking her blonde right now. Uh, Jesse let me pick the yarn and also, can we just take a moment? First of all, look how smooth. This is yarn, everybody. And look how long. How does she get them so long? I mean, she told me her secret, but dang girl that's that's amazing and they're on a latex cap oh that's so nice that is wow um i'm just gonna take a minute and just say that this is softer than my alpaca wig was just need to appreciate that for a minute she's got some uh some extra putty there we're just gonna acknowledge it's there and move on and we're gonna try this on oh my gosh it does not go with the outfit she's wearing at the moment so don't come at me but this is an awesome wig wow dude it's so soft and it, look how long it is it goes down to her hips it fits like a dream and the, because it's latex, it just sticks. Like, I don't have to put anything under it. I love that. And then we have this one. I had her do a split wig. I wasn't sure for who. I was thinking Millie, but um, I have sold Millie. Millie is in the abyss because I had an opportunity to buy, like, an ultimate grail of mine that came up for sale for a very reasonable price. Um, I have hinted, I well, I've said what it is on Instagram, but over here, I'm not going to tell you unless you go look because surprises. This is so well done. Like, even look at the inside. This is so cute. All right, who's trying this one on? Maybe Daisy. It is so cute and soft. Oh, if she needs like a, if she wants her hair down, like, man. That is precious. I also want to try this on my Mishi doll. Just give me a sec. The flexibility is so nice, <clears throat> especially because Murphy has such a big head. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Mm, that's so pretty. I want to try all the wigs on everybody. Quick shout out and thank you to Jessie. Everything is beautiful. I am shook by these wigs, how soft they are, and those flexible caps, like chef's kiss, amazing. Um, I can't wait to get my girls in these clothes. They're so good. 
If you're already subscribed here, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. I do post twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays at usually 5 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes a little earlier. Sometimes I accidentally mess up my scheduling tool and schedule for 5 a.m. instead of 5 p.m. That has happened, so always a surprise. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!